Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to look at restrictions on equations that have radicals in it. So using only real numbers in this lesson as opposed to complex numbers. And so using real numbers, root x has a restriction of x being greater or equal to zero, right? Whatever is underneath the square root must be greater or equal to zero. Just a reminder, if we have negative x less or equal to two, then if we go times negative one to both sides, x becomes greater or equal to negative two, right? So the sign flips, right? So example, two is less than four, times negative one to both sides, negative two is bigger than negative four, like that. So let's get started. Example one, determine the restriction on the given equations. So here we have root x minus three equals x plus one. The only restriction is what's underneath the square root like that. So this has to be greater or equal to zero. Plus three to both sides, x is greater or equal to three is the restriction. On a number line, this is what it looks like. You're allowed to be equal to three. So there's a solid dot and it's greater or equal to three like that. B, here the restriction is two x minus four must be greater or equal to zero plus four to both sides, divide by two to both sides, x greater or equal to two. So a number line is like that. C, two minus x must be greater or equal to zero, plus x to both sides, x must be less or equal to two. And so that is the restriction for this equation. And the number line looks like that. C, x minus two must be greater or equal to zero, and three x must be greater or equal to zero, plus two to both sides, so we have x greater or equal to two, so that's to here. Here we have x greater or equal to zero, which is here, and so what's in common is the greater or equal to two, like that. D, three x minus four greater or equal to zero, three minus two x greater or equal to zero, plus four to both sides, divide by three to both sides, and so x must be greater or equal to 1.33, and so that's this line here. Three minus two x greater or equal to zero, plus two x to both sides, divide by two to both sides, so x must be less or equal to 1.5, and so that's this line here, like that. What's in common is x is in between 1.33 and 1.5. Okay, practice number one. Determine the restriction on the given equations, a to f. Go ahead and pause the video and answer that. Okay, we're back. a, x minus four must be greater or equal to zero, plus four to both sides, so x must be greater or equal to four. b, three minus x must be greater or equal to zero, plus x to both sides, x must be less or equal to three. So that's this line here. C, two x plus one must be greater or equal to zero, minus one to both sides, divide by two to both sides. So greater or equal than negative a half, which is like that. D, two x greater or equal to zero, three x greater or equal to zero, divide by two, x greater or equal to zero, divide by three, x greater or equal to zero, and so that is the restriction on this equation. E, x minus three greater or equal to zero, one minus x greater or equal to zero, plus three to both sides, x greater or equal to three like that, here we have x less or equal to one like that, and so there's no solution because there's nothing in common. F, six x minus one greater or equal to zero, four x minus three greater or equal to zero, plus one to both sides, divide by six to both sides, x greater or equal to 0 0.16, not re uh, repeating like that, plus three to both sides, divide by four to both sides, x greater or equal to 0 0.75. So we have this, and that what's in common is x greater or equal to 0 0.75 like that and that's it it's that easy i'll see you guys in the next video